So I'm doing uh, an ID 1300X swap on my CTSV. Uh, it has ID 1000s and they're maxed out. So uh, we bumped up to the ID 1300X and this is just kind of a little video talking about how to do it. Uh, I'm no master mechanic, uh, shade tree at best. So it's been pretty simple so far. I got half the side done. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what else is going on here. So I got the fuel rail off. Uh, that was pretty easy. The first step was I uh, disconnected these bolts here that hold the fuel rail into the top of the blower. I think there was four bolts, one on each side here. Did that, disconnected all these, uh, and then basically pulled the top uh, clips out of the top of the injectors, which was pretty easy. There's a little green thing here. So pull this up and then push this in and these pull all off. And I mean, that was pretty easy so far. The whole fuel rail, it was kind of tight in there, but it pulled out pretty easily. Uh, I hit this Schrader valve on this side to relieve as much of the pressure as I could. And whenever I pulled the injectors, there actually wasn't any pressure on it, but there was still fuel in the rails. So I had these towels here to catch all the leftover fuel. And uh, basically to put the new ones, I pulled, pulled the old ones out, put these new ones in uh, to do that. Really just make sure you don't tear the O-rings that are on it. But uh, I used just a little bit of motor oil on the side of the O-ring to make it slide in a little easier and they went right into the fuel rail. So I guess I'll keep you guys posted with my progress. Uh, I'm about to put the last injector back in for the new ones and then it'll all go back together. Okay, so I tried to film while I was doing that but it kind of required two hands. Uh, basically, flip the fuel rail over, put it back in. It actually went in real easy. I put a little bit of motor oil on the uh, O-rings that went back into the blower hat and uh, Basically just roll that over, put that in. Uh, all the connections just went back together. I feel like I'm not really helping, but I don't know. Leave your questions if you have any. I unplugged all this stuff to get to the electrical stuff. I moved all the electrical stuff out of the way and kind of tied it back so I could get in there. That was kind of the hardest part was dealing with all the electrical stuff. And I know whenever I get to the other side where we have the Mighty Mouse catch can and the... Uh, Poses for the trunk tank and all that stuff. It definitely looks a little more complicated over here. So I'm going to go ahead and knock it out. All right. Just want to stop while I was at a good stopping point here. Uh, the passenger side was definitely a little bit more of a pain than the driver's side. Uh, I, def I found out that uh, I had to take this front bolt off here so I could maneuver the fuel rail enough to get it at an angle to set the injectors back into it. So that was kind of the only pain. Everything else was just dealing with all the flex fuel sensor. And then I have, uh, let's see here. This is for the Mighty Mouse catch can. This other one's for the Mighty Mouse catch can. So I had to remove that. And then just some other general wiring here is just all in the way. I think this is like a vacuum line or something. And it was just, everything was all really tight in this corner. But still pretty easy. Uh, I'm putting the bolts back into the blower lid and the fuel rails and uh, got to load my new tune in and then we're going to start it up. Okay, so injectors are in. Uh, got all them wrapped up, went over everything. Uh, got in the car to load the tune. Actually, it said failed pretty much immediately. So while I'm waiting on my tune to get back to me and see, I guess, kind of what the issue is, uh, I went back through and I actually found out that I forgot to finish completely clipping in the two front injectors. So definitely always double check. It's cheap insurance, I guess. So anyways, uh, car, wait on the tuner to get back to me. Uh, I just put my street wheels on it cause I'm gonna go do some street driving around. And uh, I got some kind of weird shake going on with the back tires. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, anyways, street wheels are on the other side. That's why the front end's all up in the air cause the jack was under it and it hasn't settled yet. But uh, anyways, wish me luck. I'm gonna go ahead and try and load this tune in again and we'll go from there. So it's the next day here. Uh, kinda had some issues with the laptop. It wouldn't connect to the car. I don't know, I tried a whole bunch of different stuff and plugged it in different areas and it still just wouldn't load up to the car. So I ended up, I put the car on the trickle charger, 
re-plugged it in and unplugged it a couple times, re-downloaded uh, HP tuners and still no luck. And finally it took the it took it. And uh, so we're out here going for a quick drive here, gonna data log these new injectors and uh, make sure everything looks good. My tuner said to just go ahead and run it up through the gears real nice and easy, you know, nothing above 50% throttle and uh, just let it see three, 4,000 RPM, make sure the injected injector balance rates are right. We're logging air fuel, all that stuff. So gonna go do that. So we're out here logging. Uh, tuner said to go ahead and bring it up around three grand, four grand and run it like that for kind of a little bit of distance just to basically, I guess, dial in the injectors a little better. So the car runs great. I mean, this is his base ID1300 tune and it is perfect. I mean, it almost drives better than it did with the old injectors and he's kind of guessing with these. So, uh, car's doing good. Um, let's see if I can flip this around. No, I can't. We've got the laptop going, uh, reading all the data and everything. So, we're gonna go up here, flip around, and head back home, and send these logs out. back out here in the garage just finish up with all those different logs and uh, set them all out and everything looks good we're on probably the final revision that I'm gonna dump in the car here in a little bit and I'll probably take it out tomorrow since it's already dark out and we are done for the night so just it took a couple revisions but uh, new injectors are great uh, I looked at some of the logs and where we were at like 120% duty cycle on the ID 1000s we are at 76% on the ID1300s. So these babies are definitely not working near as hard as the thousands and we got plenty of fuel system now. So anyways, uh, probably gonna end it here and uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And if you guys have any questions or comments, then uh, put them below. Thanks, have a great day.